Hello everybody, I'm Melissa and welcome back to Book Bar and welcome to the start of another vlog. This um, is going to be a series on my channel. This is what was supposed to be episode two, but um, I lost all the footage for the first one. So we're just gonna go with this, but I'm gonna read books that have the same title. Um, I read the two Iced Out, so Iced Out by Veronica Eden and Iced Out by C.E. Ritchie. And I kind of compared the two and had a good time with it. Uh, but So for this one, I'm going to be reading two books called Forget Me Not. So there's Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is a second chance romance um, with like a wedding element because it says that she's a wedding planner on the back. Um, I know people have been absolutely adoring it this summer, so I'm excited to get to this. And then I'm also going to be reading Forget Me Not by Kiwi Tyler. Um, that is like an amnesia romance that Jess from Peace Love Books loved a couple years ago. And I've had the audiobook on my Audible for a really long time. It's on KU. So I'm just excited to try it out. It's also like a second chance, marriage in trouble. But like, yeah. So I want to like, I'm excited to try the two and like compare and contrast the differences and see which one ultimately I end up liking more. But yeah, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna go sit out by the hole and read and I will talk to you all when I have some updates. Hello, hello. I am 25, a little over 25% of the way through Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. So it follows Ama, who is a like wedding planner um, and, uh, it's mostly, like, just, it's told from her in, like, the present time, and then we get, like, passed from this guy, Elliot, who we know he's a florist, um, and they used to have a thing. We don't know when it started, like, we're, how we're learning, um, but we know that they're not together in the present time, uh, and then when we're told from his perspective, it's, like, four years, three years, like, in the past. So I'm sure it'll end up, we'll end up like on the same timeline and we'll find out what happened with them, but um, it's good. And so they haven't worked together in like over two years. Um, she's like, start, um, she's gotten her like clients to steer away from him and go to a different florist. But there's, she has landed this one client that is a high profile client and they really want to work with Elliot. And so, now she has to work with him and she's found that, that like her creative like having to work with him like her creativity is starting to come back and yeah I'm really enjoying it so far um but I don't have a ton to say because obviously it's mostly just set up like we have, we've barely had a chapter of them actually together in the present time like they were they had a meeting and that was it um but it sounds like they're probably going to be more, spending more time together so but I'm having a good time um but I'm gonna go so I can keep reading and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello, hello. I am 60-ish percent into Forget Me Not uh, by Julie Soto. And I am absolutely adoring this book. Uh, I didn't do a 50% check-in because I was driving. And so I couldn't really stop and <laughs> stop and film um but the audiobook is fantastic. It's narrated by Callie Dalton and Teddy Hamilton. So it's wonderful. But I'm having a great time with it. Um, so basically, it's still, you know, it's like I said, it's told during two, two different timelines. And then the present timeline, um, that's all told through Emma's, Emma Rillis, Emma. It's all told through her um, perspective. And then the past is all told through Elliot's perspective. And in the present, they're working for someone very popular and famous. And now they're doing like a reality show together. And it's very interesting. <laughs> uh, we're learning what kind of, and then in the past, we're kind of learning what happened to like break them up because it seemed like they were really into each other. But it sounds like Ama has had some, you know, trauma in her past. Uh, She's even admitted it. Her mom has been married like 16 times or something like that. Married and divorced. And so, very, um, you know, easy to tell where her trauma comes from. So, she's like, you know, not really into the commitment thing. But I'm having a great time. I'm really loving it. Also, it takes place in Sacramento. Which I'm not from Sacramento. But my aunt has always lived in Sacramento. Like for as long as I've known her. Or as long as I've been alive pretty much. Or 
can remember. And every year at Christmas and Thanksgiving, we get like stuff from Freeport Bakery and that was mentioned. And so I just thought that was hilarious because I don't know a ton about Sacramento, but I do know Freeport Bakery and that was mentioned. So I thought that was pretty funny and had to mention it, but yeah. I'm gonna go because I really just want to finish this book because I'm loving it. Um, and now that I am off the rest of the day and at my aunt's house, I'm probably gonna listen and read along. So I'm gonna go and I will talk to y'all in the next one. forget me not by julie soto actually in full transparency i finished it a few days ago um but i have st i'm still like thinking about this book uh it was easily a five stars i absolutely adored it um the, there's a caretaking scene at the end of this and it's just oh it's so beautiful i loved this book so much um elliot and ama are just absolute perfection like i said i just i love it and i don't want to say too much about it because i feel like everyone needs to pick it up uh, it's second chance. It's beautiful. It's amazing. When you learn what happened and what broke them up in the beginning, oh my gosh, it's just, let's just say Ama had to do some groveling, not Elliot. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Five stars, of course. Um, uh, now I need to read the other Forget Me Not, which is Forget Me Not by QB Tyler, which is also second chance romance, or it's more like marriage and trouble. I know that he cheats on her and like then he ends up with amnesia so i'm excited to try it out but i do have some fun unboxings to do um so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into it first i have an amazon package it's really not exciting uh, it's just some black cardstock for some spooky bookmarks that i'm gonna be making um and then another not really all that fun package uh, i got some face wipes and face scrub and then my pre-order from Barnes and Noble of Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score came in. Um, I didn't love the second book. I really enjoyed the first book. I didn't love the second book. We will see how I feel about the third book. Um, this is the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. Don't know what's in it, what's different about it, but yeah, we'll see. Um, and then, okay, I haven't read this duet yet. I've been wanting to so badly and I'm obsessed with the Mystic Box edition. Uh, and I found a, found it for not an arm and a leg. Like, it was only $60 for the duet, which is really not bad because I, I think it's like, like, I think that's like how much they pay, uh, Mystic Box subscribers pay. But I did get the um, Antiheroes in Love duet by Gianna Darling. Um, I really do enjoy Gianna Darling's writing, so I think I'm going to love this series. Um, but we have... That's the second one, so we'll... But I'm just, like, I'm obsessed with these covers. I think they're absolutely stunning. And I really wanted to own them. And I've been, like, looking for them for a while. Jeez. Sorry. It's very hard to get this open. <laughs> so we have When Heroes Fall. And just, I mean, just look at that. And look at those edges. Like, ugh. all monsters were new once like ugh, were men once why did i think that's said do all monsters were men once ugh, like this is just absolutely gorgeous like ugh. and then when villains arise like look at that it's just stunning and i'm super excited and then it also came with like i think yeah it came with some art so ugh. And like a letter from the author. I'm so excited to own this. So thank you to whoever it was that I got this from on uh, Pango. But yeah, it was only like $60 shipped. So like, I think that's about what they pay for the box. It might be a little bit of an upcharge, which is fine. But yeah, I'm super excited to have own that. You know, I haven't read it, but it is um, When Heroes Fall is on my 23 
to read in 2023. Um, so I will be reading it soon because I'm really behind on that and I do still really want to read this. But yeah, I just, oh, it is absolutely just gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. I'm obsessed. So yeah, um, that's all I have for now. I'm going to go. And I will talk to y'all when I have read some of Forget Me Not by Kibi Tyler. Hello, hello. I'm coming at you from my closet because I'm looking for an outfit to wear to go out to a concert at the fair tonight. Um, I do live in like the country, so, and it is a country concert, so I will probably go with my cowboy boots. Which pair, I don't know, but I do have these right here. I'll go with these. Um... Yep, yeah, sorry, my closet's a disaster. But I mean, I started and got to 25% of Forget Me Not by Kibi Tyler. And it starts you off like right there. Um, I knew it was like relationship and trouble based off of cheating. Um so it starts off with Olivia. She is in the she's at the hospital where her not yet ex-husband, um Ben is Bennett is um at the hospital after having getting in an accident and of course like they're technically still married so she goes because i think she's like first and his doctor is like her best friend's husband and it's his best friend so they're like they've they're friends and so she goes and he like he wakes up and he cannot remember the last like two years so he thinks that they're like happily married and everything and she's like no you cheated on me we are in the process of getting a divorce like we're done and he like does not believe that and the chapter I just left off on he is going to be living with her to like gain his memories again like or to you know get some normalcy get back to that and yeah um I'm having a good time with it I don't know that it's gonna be like a favorite favorite because I just really don't love the cheating aspect but we'll see. I am rocking my new Travis Kelsey The Heiress Tour hoodie. Or not hoodie because it doesn't have a hood. But um, pullover. And yeah, I'm going to go to the fair and concert. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. the way through forget me not by kibi tyler and i don't know i don't know how i feel about it um i mean obviously a big portion of it is um cheating but then also it's spoiler but also a huge content warning for anyone that has problems reading about fertility struggles um basically olivia and bennett had been sh trying to have a baby and struggled with it month after month coming back negative then she got pregnant had a miscarriage got pregnant again had another miscarriage and that's kind of what drove bennett to have the affair like he got because she wouldn't let him in so i kind of hate that that's like used as like a plot device as like the woman pushing the guy away and the guy going and cheating um because like in in a trilogy that i absolutely adore i don't want to say what it is because it will be spoilers um in a trilogy that i absolutely adore they lose a baby and the heroine pushes the hero away and, like tries to like deal with it on her own 
but he won't let her. He's like, no, we're not doing this. Like, we're doing, we're fighting this together. So I hate that that's like a plot device in it. But we'll see. She clearly still loves him. He still loves her. He's like kind of starting to get some memories back. Like he's remembering things that have happened like more recently than two years ago. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. We'll see. I'm shooting gummy bears at 9 o'clock at night. But yeah. I don't know. I don't foresee this being our new favorite. I don't even know if it will be like a high star book. It might only be like a two star. We'll see how I feel once it all comes to be. But yeah, that is my thoughts on that for now. I'll probably read more tomorrow at work. <laughs> but I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you in the next one. Hello. Good evening. I have finished Forget Me Not by Kiwi Tyler. I didn't update you all at the 75% mark because I was listening while I was working and I looked down and I like got in the mo like work zone and I looked down and all of a sudden I had like 10% left and I was like, well, there's no point in updating. I'll just finish it. I mean, I only updated the other Forget Me Not three times, so it's perfect. Uh, but yeah, I ended up giving it three and a half stars and I hated the like him getting his memories, Bennett getting his memories back, the way that was handled was just, I don't know, it was, like part of me understood why he did it, but then at the same time, I was like, but why? So, yeah, um, and I, my big, like, big problem was with the, like, what led to him cheating I have a pimple on my eyebrow. Um, what led to him cheating was her pushing him away. Um, I don't know. I've read other books that do it better. So, yeah. Three and a half stars for that. It was This was good. It was fun to read two books with the same title that were similar enough because they were both second chance. But very different th at the same time. Uh, so, yeah. I had a great time. But I'm going to go now because... I am tired <laughs> and I need to get home because it's hot and I will talk to you all when I close this vlog out. Hello, I'm here to close out the forget me not times two vlog. Um, don't want to call it, but something like that. I'll say that later. But basically I read forget me not by Julie Soto and forget me not by Kiwi Tyler. Um, I have one of them sitting right here. Forget Me Not by Julie Soto was a five star. I absolutely adored this. Um, told on two timelines, second chance romance, a um, lot of stuff revolving around weddings, beautiful floral arrangements and discussion, um, things in Sacramento, which I have been, like there were things in here that just like reminded me of home and like of my family and things. Um, the mention of Freeport Bakery, I am pretty sure I just talked about because I thought that was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, five stars for this one. Forget Me Not by Kiwi Tyler was a three and a half star. Like I said, I didn't love the whole discussion around the, um, the, their like marriage problems being more her fault than they were his. Like that really irked me because there is a romance series that I absolutely adore where similar concepts, um, like I said, I pretty sure I talked about this, but similar concepts and when she tries to push him away, he won't let her. And in this one, he was just like, nah, I'm gonna go drown my sorrows in alcohol and screw another lady. And I hated that. So yeah, three and a half stars for that. Um, I could definitely see Kiwi Tyler being an author that I do enjoy. I started with this. This was my first book by her. Um, I started with this for this vlog, but also um, it's not her. Like she has very taboo romances. Um, and I just have to be in the right, like, mind for taboo romances and they just haven't been lately so we'll see but I could see she is a great writer um and I'm sure that her taboo romances are fantastic so when I'm in the mood for them I will definitely pick one up but that is all I have if you made it to the end of this vlog leave me a flower emoji uh, let me know if you have read either of these books or both of them which one you prefer uh let me know if you will pick up either of them based off of this and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. It really helps me out. 
I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.